just about sailing May second one in May maybe there'll be a third who knows but anyway the windows arrived the weather was great too good an opportunity to miss um, and I wanted to get as much done on the windows this will be a two-parter so this is part one and let's see what happened right I need to backtrack a bit because um, whilst I was putting out the videos for the rudder I didn't particularly want to sort of interleave them with stuff that I was doing with the windows because I think that would have been confusing so let's just do a little bit to try and get up to real time um, in terms of taking the windows off and looking at my choice which is the sea glaze clamp in windows have a look back to the October 2017 video where I took the old windows off and then have a look to the January 18 video where I visited the boat show so basically the process is because these are bespoke windows that I wanted to get you measure them but get a quite price quote uh, you confirm yes I do want to go ahead with them and then very importantly what sea glaze do and we'll have a look at this is you have to make a paper template yourself so you make a paper template then you draw that out on a big piece of paper I use the back of a, a wallpaper they then digitize it and send you a hardboard template for you to fit into your windows and it's not until you say yes to that that they will actually okay then they also um, obviously they send sort of color samples and they send in bits of aluminium for the sort of clamping stuff so you know it's all going to fit um, I decided to go it's actually called metallic white but it's a sort of a grey colour which all sounds very straightforward except um, as you might be aware I'm not fitting to an existing shape so let me just explain that what, what I mean by that briefly another one of my magic drawings so this black line that represents the actual cutout in the hull and you can see it's quite long and narrow this blue line around here that's the actual size of the and I'm not sure what it was I think it was probably perspex which is plexiglass polycarbonate sort of that was stuck on the outside so an obvious thing to have done would have been to simply replace that but I really wanted to have a round rounded window one that looked like this with um, with no kind of overlap um, and of course we know the perennial problem is trying to get a, a round block into a square hole well we're not going to be defeated on this channel so basically the issue is how to get this round shape into this square one um, and two options I could have either made this bigger in which case I would need to sort of cut extra things out of here or smaller so that it fitted in here and it just because of the aesthetics and other things I've made it smaller so I'm going to have little corner pieces little gaps which will meet, be, need to be glass fibred in which we'll, we'll have a look at later on so that's the kind of the overall idea of the um, the problem if we want to put it there as a problem but that's so that's what I want to do to get from that to that by putting in those right so template <coughs> so I've taken this lots of sheets of A4 paper um, stuck them together drawn round them trimmed them to make sure that it's exactly um, the size of the aperture <coughs> and I'm going to transfer that onto a bigger piece of paper right so very happy about this I've just received this is the template that sea glaze make so this is based on first of all the measurements which I did for the quote and then the, the thing that you'd have seen me drawing around where I sent um, a big piece of paper with a with a drawing on it so so I'm not expecting this to fit well I'm expecting it to fit lengthways um, but it's going to be too tall because of that flare so that seems a bit odd doesn't it? Is, um, why wasn't I surprised that the template wasn't going to fit? well it's based on um, the, the measurements and I noticed something which I'd forgotten about is that there's a slight flare the windows get wider towards the end and what sea glaze have done is taken the template and made them to the hut to the taller side rather than smaller so I sent them a if you can see that sent them a thing showing kind of what the where the flare was uh, discussed it over the telephone they sent uh, a new template which was uh, the right size and um, then waited for the rudder to be finished 
we get to real time, by the way, at the point where the rudder got finished and then literally, as I said, there was a knock at the door and the new windows arrived, <coughs> but I hadn't done any sort of prep work and so on. So we've just had, this is the bank holiday weekend, we've just had uh, three and we're gonna have another lovely day tomorrow. So I actually wrote a project plan for the first time in my life. So let's, um, <coughs> let's stop the talking then and just see what, um, what happens next. Okay, so here are the two different forms. See, uh, there's a slight bit of tape on this because it got slightly damaged in trans transit. So the second one is just a few millimetres smaller based on the reasons I will have explained before. So let's just see if this is a fit. Absolutely. That is absolutely fabulous. There's a tiny little bit at the top and the bottom of about half a millimetre. Um, the length is exactly right. I don't know if you can see that yet, yeah, hopefully. Um, really, 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 really pleased with that. Super. And of course, in the corners here, actually, let me show you that. And of course, in the corner here, that gives me an exact shape, a template to work out the fillet for the fiberglass because there will be a fiberglass sort of triangular fillet in each one of the corners. Now of course the other thing that's important is the boat is not flat but does have a, a gentle curve which I measured and I measured it at about two centimetres in the middle so what I've done here is I've made the world's worst bow and arrow. I've kind of stretched a piece of string along here. This is the old one by the way because uh, it's the other one is, as I mentioned, it's kind of got a little snap in it. So if I hold this up here and the gap here in the middle should be about two centimetres and it's exactly two centimetres. Do you know what I'm going to film this because I often say it's going to be about and then it's, it's, it's off. So I'm, hang on, I'm just going to move the camera and stuff. That is, I don't know if you can see that because there's some glare on it. Oh. That's exactly on the two. Can you see that? There you go. It's taken me ages to, to sort this out, but hopefully you can see that without the glare on it. That, that is exactly on the two. That's the number two there. So I'm showing this because it means I actually got a measurement right. Okay, as I said in a previous video, <coughs> I've literally just finished the rudder and it's gone into storage. And I was about to um, turn this little tiny little house I'm staying at the moment back into a house and not an epoxy workshop and literally as the um, and as I'm doing this the, the video for the final part of the rudder is still rendering uh, knock on the door and this lovely great box from Seaglaze has arrived so let's see what's in here Truly very, very, very exciting. That's the trim for the inside panel. Handed right and left windows. And Gosh, these are well wrapped. Oh, look at that. These are substantial and absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. Mirage 28 windows, it says. Which is just as well as I thought it is. This is quite literally like Christmas, getting, getting the rudder finished and receiving the new windows on the same day. Who could ask for more? Of course there's still a lot to do, I haven't done any of the preparatory work on the boat really, well some basic stuff to actually fit these. But, um, 
Sometimes you've got to spoil yourself. And getting a pair of bespoke, beautiful how many windows is spoiling yourself. So if I can hold this right, you can probably see that there's a nice subtle curve on it. So that was all measured out carefully. Um, lovely grey. The front windows will be replaced at some stage as well. They're a little bit narrower than the old windows, but that's fine. There's a bit of a tint on it. Um, and there's a couple of screws in there. I'm not going to unscrew. There's a couple of screws in there. I'm not going to screw this. This is what's clamping the window together. And that just, it just looks so right. This is absolutely fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay. <laughs> Better actually do some work now and get them fitted. Okay, it's quite windy today, but I've got a new microphone on the, uh, I've got a new battery in the external microphone. Um, dead cat is fluttering around like mad, so hopefully this is not too bad. What I'm going to do is I've got two, um, these are just chopping boards, they're about seven millimetres thick, so um, just about exactly the right size. I'm going to cut shape in one of them. Anyway, let's, let's do it. It's probably the easiest way of understanding what's going on. So I want this to be exactly the size, exactly the size and shape. Okay, that's not that's not too bad for a a first effort. Um, I'd rather that this this white plastic stuff was slightly too small because then that means that there'll be a little bit too much fiberglass, which I can always cut off. This edge is perfect. This edge is about a millimetre or so out. So I'm gonna um, have a good sand of that and get that. There we go. Happy enough with that. That's a nice rounded edge and um, yeah I'm sure you'll see exactly what I mean if it works when I put it in the boat. Fabulous. So this is the first test so what I'm going to do uh, so this is I've wedged this in here this is the bit that I cut out there's another piece of this cutting board on the outside and then there's hopefully it'll come up with the camera that's a little sort of hollow and I'm going to cut this back grind this back sort of round here and fill with 12, about 12 layers of 450, which should add up to about six millimeters, and let that dry and then see if that works. And if it does, I should do the rest. So this is one of these jobs that is easier in theory than in practice. This is really quite fiddly, and I'm not 100% convinced at the moment, but unless you try, you don't know. These things are really fiddly to cut out, actually, really, really. Not easy at all. I should have cut 12 out, but I think I only cut about 10. Because um, it just got to... It was just kind of splintering everywhere as I was cutting it. Look at these, these are always falling to dust as I'm doing the last few. Alright, this is coming to the end of its pot life now.
so that really is your lock. Left it overnight. No idea if it's going to work. Not work. Peel wet, peel ply. Well, that's not bad. Having a bit of camera problems today because I forgot to put the um, take the memory card out of the computer yesterday and the battery on this little fake GoPro is running out but I do have a spare emergency camera which I haven't used before. Wow, that's not bad but there are things that I want to do to make that better. Check this with the micrometer. Wow, it's just over. Can you see? I hope you can see that. That is that really is. I promise you, that is just over six. I hope you can see that. Otherwise, you think I'm lying. It's just over six millimeters thick. Brilliant. No, I couldn't couldn't be more pleased with that. Um, although I do want to do this, putting the fiberglass on slightly differently. Although that's actually come out better than I expected. Let's just have a look. Putting the um, template in. Actually, that's pretty good. There's a little bit that I need to trim off there, but that's just where I've fiberglassed over the edge. But um, yeah, that that has turned out a lot better than I was expecting. As I said, I wasn't particularly happy with the um, the way the other one went on. So what I've done is I've made a little template of of that, a little template of just the triangle bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to into I'm going to cut smaller bits on here. But each time I put one in, I'm going to interleave it with one that just goes in to that bit. No idea if that makes sense. <laughs> no idea if it'll work. Right, so I cut out a million pieces all in the right order. What a, what a palaver. And of course you might say, well, why are you still using 450? If you used a um, thousand or something that's twice as thick, you wouldn't have to do so much. Well, basically I've managed to do everything from off cuts, so it's simply me being a cheapskate. Right, that felt easier actually, that felt easier putting it on that way, so um, I promised myself I'm starving, it's nearly 2 o'clock and I said I wasn't actually going to have any lunch until I'd done that, so that's good, let's let that dry for a bit. Right, so that's perfect, I'm actually bizarrely a day ahead of schedule because it's Tuesday tomorrow and I've got, that was fiddly, those, putting those little corner bits in was very, very fiddly. Um, but I'm not going to leave this on a talking bit, talky bit. Let's have a look. I just couldn't resist it. I wanted to just do a kind of dry fit of the windows and actually put them in and see whether it worked. So I haven't done any kind of rubbing down or any finishing off, so everything's a bit scruffy, but I literally can't resist this. So let's finish off by just having a quick look. And then next time it's going to be all the finessing, all the making it look nice and so on, which is my weakest point to be quite honest so you might have to wait a couple of weeks for that because it takes me forever to do that type of thing so anyway let's have a look at the inside and the outside right i never do retakes on this channel but the first time i forgot to turn the microphone on the second time i sneezed and the desk pulled wet anyway look i've just popped this this on um i've put a few screws in there's a black uh, trim thing that goes around here but hopefully you can kind of see the sense of of what i had to do in the in the corners and this is all nicely clamped on um, let's have a look at the outside now. So there we go. <coughs> Fits in quite nicely. Obviously there is a lot of finishing to do. 
Um, they look very dark from the outside and yet lots of light comes in so yeah pleased with that on to the next stage so a fairly good and valid question would be well why didn't I clean down everything and prepare it before I actually did those fillets and obviously I would do that normally but that was the critical path I had three days of sunshine and I really did the minimum clean up to actually make sure I got that so I'm in good stead for the next one so see you in the next video thanks for watching